Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm going to get stuck straight into part two of Mega Box today. Um, kicking off with Ebony Violet, then I will go through Ella After Wax Co. Then depending on how much time that takes, I might do a little bit of Tea Time Tarts. If this runs over, then I might do Tea Time Tarts in the next one. So I divide these up into videos, into separate videos, so it's not, you know, overwhelming for me or for you so yeah anyway um getting started um an ebony violet i don't have the note she left but she was lovely enough to include um because she said it took a little bit longer than expected to get my order together um i actually don't remember if that was the case or not but that's all right um it shows how much attention i pay uh she included this low free so this was a gift. Um, so Heavenly Type, which is a floral bouquet with orange, lemon, rose, uh, marine, and jasmine top notes with a sweet woody musky um, background. So it's very cute. It's got like a butterfly on the front there. Okay. This is a nice scent. It's definitely musky. And sort of a sweet floral. I don't know about much marine. Maybe a little bit, yeah. It's not super citrusy or anything like that. It's just a very, it's a nice smooth kind of scent. So it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. Yeah. Now, the item that I, pretty much the reason I placed the order, um, was... This loaf, orange tea and crumpets, black tea steeped with juicy orange and crumpets. So the background, I found this scent at another vendor, um, a vendor who I won't be repurchasing from. Um, I'll say it, I don't care, swanky. Um, and I love the scent, but because I won't be purchasing from that vendor anymore, I put the call out, I think in wax chat, that I was looking for vendors who had this oil. Um, and Sai um, from Ebony Violet mentioned that she had didn't have it on her site, but she does have it. Um, and it is apparently a premium oil, so this one was slightly cost more, slightly, slightly more than the typical, but that's okay. Um, because I have already sniffed it and it is exactly and it is so strong. And it is that oil, and oh, it's good, 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 good. So I'm going to have to give this loaf a bit of a... It is a little bit beaten up, but that'll be um, from transit to me. It's massive. I don't normally get loaves, but this scent is... It is super orangey. So, um, yeah, if... You know, like if you sort of compare it to things like tea and cakes... It's a lot more orange and very, so tea and cakes to me is like, tea and cakes is more like a, um, so the cake itself is orange and then there's just a bit of black tea in there. This is like legitimately, like exactly how it's described. It is, the black tea is steeped in oranges. It is an orange tea scent. You don't really get a huge kind of bakery note off it, but there's just a little underlying creaminess, which would be the crumpets. So, absolute favourite, favourite, favourite. So, um, really happy to have a good amount of that, even though I don't normally do loaves, but that scent is worth it. Um, and now I've got some scent shots. So, I pretty much I ordered for this, but I threw in a few scent shots. Quite mostly, I think they're all single oils. Yes, they are. Um, partly because there's oils, most of them are oils that I've seen pop up in certain blends that I enjoy, um, or they're oils I've tried from vendors and, you know, I wanted to see how size performs. So, um, yeah, so I've got Tonka and Oud, because I need to get to know some of my oils better. Like, you know, there's certain oils that pop up in certain blends over and over again, and I love the blends. I'm like, well, I should get to understand the oil a bit more. So is it the oil I love? What part of the blend is it that I love the most? So Tonka and Oud notes of powder, amaretto, Tonka, balsam, rum, light musk, dark musk, and Oud. I do like she puts all the notes out there too, because sometimes you don't know what actually makes up the single oil, and the single oil can be quite complex. So this is... Ooh. So this I'm really getting 
that balsam. Um, but it is a musky and a powdery kind of scent as well as the wood. So it's, yeah, that's very, very strong. I like it. I'm trying to think. I know I've had blends with Tonka and Oud in them, and I don't know if they smelled similar to that or what. Um, I got two of those. Actually. Yes. Okay. No, that actually helps me because I tried last, yesterday, a Savannah Blue blend that was amazing called Jupiter. And it had Tonka and Oud as notes, and I'm pretty sure that, yeah. I definitely picked some of that up off it and that's part of why I liked it so much so it's good to know um, she also did like lavender sage in it and um, rosewood which I'm really starting to fall in love with um, so yeah really that's a really really good blend and that's in it I've got sweet on Paris so wild blackberries fresh lemon zest and creamy vanilla I don't know I don't think I've tried I keep hearing people talk about this one I don't think I've actually tried it before Definitely not on its own, and I don't recall having a blend. It blended either. It's very nice. Like it's definitely all three of those things. Quite zesty and up, like fresh, but it's got that creaminess to it. It's nice. That's nice. I've been meaning to try. I see a lot of people talk about that one and order that one. Um, so I wanted to give it a go. Um. And yes, that is good. So I'm just trying to pick wax off the other side of my phone. Uh, I've got... So this one I've tried as a single oil from a couple of different vendors now. Um, and I like it, but they varied slightly. So I'm sort of just testing everybody out. So blackberry and sugared violets, which is blackberry violets, jasmine wrapped in ribbons of sugar and vanilla. So I do enjoy blackberry and sugared violets. But yeah, just trying to find my happy vendor home with it. And this is this is nice. quite strong which is good because I think one of the vendors I can't remember I think one of them was slightly less strong than the other so this one seems to be quite strong um but yeah like I just like it's 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 a blackberry scent the it's not too floral but that is there and it's just you know a really nice different kind of floral scent blackberry scent um cashmere cedar so vanilla sugar rose jasmine vanilla orchid cedarwood vanilla and musk Okay, that's good. So this was one that... I'm surprised I threw this one in because the cashmere cedar from Swanky just seemed too soapy and kind of black to me. I don't know. But this is actually very nice. Very smooth. Um, like definitely kind of got that orchid and the vin like vanilla, sugar, vanilla. Like these are very, very smooth. But this one is less kind of soapy than what I got off. I haven't melted the swanky one yet, so maybe I'll melt them in different rooms so I can compare. I've got Beechwood Vetiver. Now this scent is absolutely one of my favourites at the moment, but again, I've only had it in blends. So Salty Sea Air, Dried Coconut, Eucalyptus, Night Blooming Jasmine, Carnation, Vetiver, Sun Drift, Dried Driftwood and Tangy Seaweed. This is an amazing, amazing scent. So, yep, it's there's that vet, the vetiver. Like I just love vetiver, but beechwood vetiver just adds this airiness and that saltiness and the coconut. It just, oh my goodness, it's amazing. Um, and the thing it is, it is quite strong. So like the blends I've had, which I liked, but beechwood vetiver in them didn't smell that different to this on its own. Um, there's one from Waxidence, I think I did, which she's added like coconut and driftwood and that kind of just amps up that element, but beechwood vetiver on its own smells really good. And the last one, um, which I think I got in a blend at Waxidence, so Arctic Night, which is ozone, fir needles, violet, lavender, flowers, patchouli, oak moss and amber. This one is um, very fur needle-ish. Like there's definitely some, there's like a floral undertone to it. Um, but I'm mostly getting kind of, yes, 
oak moss amber and definitely fir needles like mostly fir needles so um, I think this one's actually a little bit better blended I feel like it needs a bit of toning down might even go okay with cashmere cedar so maybe I'll play around with that kind of combo and see how it goes okay that is ebony violet now I'm going to talk about make a bit more space even though I've got more space now in my lovely filming set uh, now I'm going to talk about Ella After. So Ella After Wax Co. is a Canadian vendor. Um, she's also on, I do watch her a bit on YouTube, um, The Dollhouse, or Sweet Scents from The Dollhouse. Um, and yeah, so she's relatively new. She does a cocoa soy wax, so rather than paraffin and soy. So one thing I do want to do um, at some point, once I've road tested the wax a little, her wax a little bit, is I actually want to do a video talking about the different types of wax so what soy wax tends to melt like and what some of the variations are what cocoa soy tends to do what paraffin only blends tend to do um, mostly just kind of a layperson opinion because obviously I'm not a vendor um, but because I have dabbled a little bit in terms of you know making my own wax and I've experimented with a few I can probably add some very amateur opinions around or thoughts around um you know some of the different wax types and things like that so um that was i, I mean i wanted to try ella after because she lots of people have been saying good things but i also just wanted to sort of give the cocoa soy wax a go i have to remember if, if, if um empire alchemy is cocoa soy i can't remember if she used to be or if she still is anyway uh so a few samples so i've got uh, one, I don't know the notes though, so uh, fruit fly on acid. Now, I, I should have mentioned this up front. I don't have, um, you know, when a lot of vendors send cards and things like that, there was a big package in my package. There was a big bundle of like all of the invoices and stuff like that, but I haven't been through it properly to see what's, whether there was like business cards or anything. So if you were missing that, then I apologize. That's just, you know, I don't always get to. Okay. Now this soy, this wax, I will say, is quite uh, like greasy, sticky. So not, I don't mind that, but just to, you know, be aware. So this one smells like like a sweet cereal, and like um, maybe some marshmallows or cocoa. I'm not the biggest cereal scent. Fan, like, but I think there's some toasted marshmallow there. Um, so maybe like some kind of marshmallow cereal. I don't mind it though. It's kind of nice. Um, I am coming around like I've learned Magically Delicious from Super Tarts is better than I thought it would be. So this is not bad. I've got Imposter or American Cream, which I think is a Lush dupe. Yeah, it's just sort of very fresh. There's a little bit of a floral note to it and creamy. I think I'm aware of American Cream. It's not my favourite scent. It's not bad in wax, actually. I didn't love it from Lush. Like it, um, I remember not liking the scent of the... Uh, I think it was a f shampoo. Anyway. Uh, cashmere and Cotton. That's not bad. Very smooth, very clean. Um, yeah, maybe not for me, but so this wax is very like it's hard if there's more than one item in the bag. It's just sort of sticky. Um, that doesn't bother me, but just calling it out. Uh, where the wild things are. So again, can't remember the notes. I do wish these bags of things had notes on them. That would just make my life easier. Okay, so there's lavender. There's, this is a lavender scent. There's like a creaminess to it. It's very strong. It's almost like, and I could be completely off here, but it's almost like if you took beach nights, so like s'mores and salty sea air or whatever, and you added lavender. That's kind of what I'm reminded of. I've got to st stop putting my big red hand in front of here. Um... I could be way off on that, but that's just kind of the vibe I'm getting off that. It smells nice. Uh, and then I got... Hmm. Okay, so 
got a clamshell, bitty. See, the scent shots have the notes. I'll show you. Um, so the name and the notes, which is really cool, and the pour date. Like her labeling is really pretty, but it would be wonderful because she's got these that have got pour dates, but this doesn't have a pour date. This has a pour date and the notes that doesn't have notes, like a one consistent kind of labeling method. Like you've got like Ebony Violet, she does pretty much on everything that I've seen. Uh, the name, the notes, the poured, that's perfect for me. Um, so, and this is actually perfect for me as well. So if she could take the way she labels the shots and do it to everything else, that would be amazing. Um, because it takes a very long time for wax to get to me here in Australia, so I like to know, I like to be reminded what I bought. <laughs> this is super, whew, this is strong. Oh, okay. No, all right. I take that back because the notes are there. All right, so that was me ranting for nothing. She does include the notes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so, Violet Woods, Leather, Tonka, and Oak Moss. So the leather is definitely what made me go, whew. But it is a woodsy. Like, it's not like a super leather blend. It's just intense is how I would describe it. It's very, very woodsy. And it's not like, whoa, there's a leather blend, but it is a, um, it has that intensity of a leather scent, if that makes sense. So I like it. I definitely will need to be in a heavy leather mood for that because it is, that is not for the faint hearted. Um, so embrace the equinox. So that is a uh, smoky sweet grass. That's a few of these, it seems like, with her. Definitely smoky. I'm mostly getting smoky. Pretty much just getting smoky. So hopefully that's not my nose starting to go blind. Um, maybe. So maybe I'll hold off on doing my um, Empire Alchemy video until tomorrow. Because I do find after if I smell too many things... Um, that I start just picking up the more dominant note and not the nuance. So, um, yeah, but I'm mostly getting smokiness off that. So a Libra's love. I will finish this one, but yeah, might hold off on the next one until tomorrow. Tart green apples, smooth oak and delicate lavender. All right. So apples. Yeah. Very kind of clean apples. Like, this is a very clean apple scent to me. Yeah. I think it might be my nose a little bit, so I'm probably not doing these a very good, a bit of a disservice, because I'm mostly just getting the apples, but it's definitely like... Like a, um... Like fabric softer, like snuggies, snuggles... Apple, like the apple fabric, fabric softener in Australia. I don't know if, if it's in other countries. That's what that smells like to me, so... Um, which could be just because my nose is not registering the other notes. Um, I've got Marshes of Kent. So Swirling Mist, Light Florals, Pipe Smoke and Dense Moss. Sorry, I just sort of like tried to snuff the smell out of my nose with um, by breathing hard. Makes no sense. I need some coffee grounds or something to kind of you know all right okay no i'm getting a lot of complexity here so maybe my nose isn't totally dead so florals kind of hits first and then you get this sweep up of the moss and the smoke like that pipe smoke it's not like a smoky scent but it definitely weaves in amongst the florals and it's got that kind of greenness to it so that could be the mist and the moss that's a very nice complex scent. I'm glad the oh, and it's the scent shots kind of double poured. I'm glad that it's not too pipe smoky, but I'm glad the pipe smoke is also registerable because yeah. Um, Estella, so fig, sage, tobacco, rose, saffron, and incense. Um, this paws are very cute. 
nice colours and stuff. Hmm. Okay. So this one's kind of on the light-ish side. Sweet. Bit of herbal. Yeah. It's kind of sweet, her so fig, sage. I'm not so sure about... Oh, there's... Yeah, I'm not so sure about the other elements. So again, could be my nose, but I just... Yeah, I'm not getting, like, strong... This. I'm getting a strong scent, but I'm not not any of the notes sort of really sticking out. And last one, uh, lemon, vanilla, white pepper, rose milk, and cashmere. Ah, uh, so Ella Rose is what this one's called. Ooh, okay, I like this. So first off to me, it's like that is lemon, vanilla, rose. And it's like, um... Oh, it reminds me of something... Really, just on the. It's kind of like a icy. I gotta watch what I'm doing now. I keep drifting, drifting, drifting. Oops. And now I'm dropping, dropping, dropping. So there's like a um. <sighs> Slip my tongue. It's like an icy pole or something, like a fruity, like a nice one though. Which is odd because that's not really a note, but I think it's that lemon, vanilla, and rose kind of combining. But there is a dash of pepper at the end. Like just sharpens it up a little bit. So that's very nice. Like it all combines into something much different to the individual kind of scent notes, if that makes sense. Um, okay, so I'm going to leave it there. Because I do think I've kind of gone a bit nose blind. So I might do the last. So I've got tea time tarts and I've got a bunch of... Um, Empire Alchemy um, so I might do that tomorrow night um, but yes thank you for watching um, always love that people tune in and watch my videos please subscribe if you like what you see um, or comment you know I love chatting to people um, yeah thanks as always for watching bye